like a threat. My best self. My first time going to the gym in like two weeks. Kate Bodnia and uh, I am what am I <laughs> okay I am many things I decided to give myself a challenge this new year 2024 is upon us and it's time to just give yourself a challenge I, I, I felt like it as you figured out from the title I'm doing uh, the 75 hard, which is basically a challenge which entails a very strict diet, um, working out and uh, reading 10 pages a day of non-fiction and uh, also drinking three ounces of water. So I'm 22, I'll be 23 in October and I really want to step it up this year you know, be my best self because I feel like I'm not reaching my potential that I have within me. I want to push myself. I want to see uh, if I can hold myself accountable for these two and a half months and just see what happens because I, for example, love seeing transformations, uh, body transformations online and I feel like it really shows what your body is capable of, what you are capable of, what people are capable of. And it's really incredible to see. And so I am really striving for that. So for lunch, I already had lunch and I also had it with my mom. So I didn't really want to film. I had a sausage. Yeah, it's not really good. Uh, two boiled eggs. Um, cucumber and uh, rice. Right now I'm just eating my apple and drinking some tea. For those of you who don't know, and frankly no one knows, I work as, a, as an ESL teacher. Uh, I'm out of breath. But now I'm back, slowly getting into the routine, and yeah. Okay, so it's uh, the end of day one. It was relatively easy today. And I think it will be this whole week because it's just the beginning and I'm 100% sure that as weeks go by, I will kind of lose this initial motivation, which is natural. I just figured I, I'd share things that I read uh, from my nonfiction book, uh, which I'm required to read uh, because of the challenge. I've chosen the Another Soul by um, I forgot the author's name and it's been really interesting and a, quite an interesting read so I decided to just share ideas uh, just as I read. We have this inner uh, critic uh, within us, not even a, a critic, the author uh, he named this voice that's in, in our head that is always there, that is uh, quite literally narrating our life, our mind roommate. And so it keeps nagging and nagging at us and we just 
we just listen and we never really reply because we can't. The most important takeaway from that abstract, I read the whole chapter, chapter two, and we have to uh, consciously observe that roommate of ours. And so we have to remember that the shower, for example, is not for thinky thoughts. It's for washing your body and not, you know, we're playing awkward conversation, conversations in your head. Cheers and good night. at work it's currently 9 34 i have worked till 11. i have i haven't got any snacks i just drank water to get in that three gallons crazy cheers i'm gonna make just some lunch i guess spinach um, bell peppers and I will fry up a little tortilla <laughs> to just cave in and buy some shit in the supermarket but I resisted I resisted because I want to you know continue with this challenge and prove to myself that I can do it will this video turn into a mukbang I don't know so time for the daily takeaway of the book that I'm reading. It is The Unethered Soul by... Gosh, I forget every time. Like I, I sit down to do it and I forget to look up the author. I'm sorry. So today's chapter was about literally understanding who you are. And for me, honestly, for now, it's the, the hardest question and if your answer is i am um, tom's wife well you weren't tom's wife when you were 10 years old and then your answer might be okay so i am this soul inside my body uh which is five four weighs like 60 60 kilograms no were you five four when you were 10? No. So yeah, maybe ask yourself who you think you are. <laughs> it sounds like a threat. <laughs> hard challenge. Uh, today I already um, went to the gym, I worked, I almost froze myself to death because it was literally like minus 20 degrees outside and I also went grocery shopping so let's do a quick haul I guess. A tortilla, chicken, spinach, bananas, eggs, almond milk, tomatoes, cucumbers, last but not least, some feta cheese. And also a receipt with a fuck ton of money because, you know, eggs these days, they cost like a fucking iPhone. So I'm all cozied up and I'm ready to make some lunch. finished 
reading another chapter of Unethered Soul, the nonfiction book that I'm required to read um, because of the challenge. And this chapter was all about energies that actually block your heart chakra. Whenever you are reliving uh, a situation, so for example, something triggered you and you are reliving uh, almost sort of like your past, it means it's your samskara. Samskara means the unfinished energy that still lives inside you. The main takeaway is that for you to live uh, a happy and unbothered life, you have to learn to let go of old energies, no matter how nice, no matter how um, you know nostalgic, uh, no matter how painful and ugly they are because once you do that uh, you will experience the sort of release because all the other experiences that you are going to be having uh, you will be inviting them in with an open heart and they will literally just slide and pass right through you if old energies come back up because you were unable to process them just let go of them now it's that easy literally letting go. It is easy yet very hard. So this is the takeaway for today. This sums up day three of my 75 hard. That means that I have 70, only 72 more days to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that I gave you maybe somewhat motivation to also experiment and challenge your body and yourself. I truly believe that you and every one of us is capable of changing yourself for the better. If you stayed uh, towards this point of this video, comment down below the running man emoji, because why not? And yeah, I will see you during my last week of the 75 heart which means in a couple of months and we will compare the results and i think you will be the judge of my transformation because i live with myself every day and i look at myself every day so sometimes for me the transformation is not that drastic but for you it may be and please tell me <laughs> that is drastic because i am striving for something love y'all thank you subscribe if you want if you don't goodbye so 